Ted, what's your opinion on animation? Animation? Like pictures? Yeah. Yeah, a lot of it isn't my cup of tea. But why not? It just isn't. But can you be specific, please? Um... Okay, I mean a majority of it is for kids. But animation is not just for kids. It's just moving pictures. Are you saying art in general is for kids? Um, I think a majority of it is for kids. Yeah, if you're talking about Dora the Explorer or Teletubbies, but if you look closely, there's a whole section of animated content that's for all ages. Okay, maybe a section of it is. When we take a look at such like Spongebob and Dexter's Laboratory- I thought they were for kids. They're for everyone if you look at them correctly. Let me show you an episode of one of my favorites. Uh, no thanks. Come on, it's all great if you give it a chance. First, we'll start with Fairly Odd Parents. First thing you notice is that the show has a lot of adult jokes. Do they use a lot of paper towels, spend too much time alone in their rooms, and say, don't bother me? I'm just gonna take these paper towels up to my room alone, so don't bother me. Oh no! Oh, we're, we're bad, bad parents! <laughs> Did you get the joke of this scene? Heh, heh, heh. So what this scene is referencing is that these parents think Timmy is grabbing a paper towel because he's about to miss to be in his room. I, I don't care. Wait, how could you not care? You're an adult! And these are adult jokes! Not much of a fan of masturbation jokes. Okay, let's switch to this other show I love called Children. Matt from there! Get closer! Closer? Okay. There. What about that one? Yeah, that one doesn't come off. I tried. <laughs> you say it's a kid's show, but would a kid's show not be smart enough to pull a fourth wall joke? Uh. Okay. D don't you get the joke? That elephant guy acknowledges the channel logo on the bottom right of the screen. Yes, and what do you think that means? I don't know. Self-awareness! Do you think a show like Dora would have self-awareness at all? It's mind-blowing when you discover any of this as an adult. I, I don't see how this counters to me though. I don't think it's funny. But how is it not funny? Uh, 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 son, they're all for kids. What? There for kids. It's not the type of comedy I watch or find funny today as an adult. A lot of the humor is like reduced, limited to one or two topics at a time. It's close to just slapstick or I don't know how to explain it, but it's all simple. I'm an adult. I laugh at things that tackle what I experience as an adult now. Politics, jobs. But some of them reference politics. I... A lot of them reference it. A lot! Ah, Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, you know what? How about one more show? Peter, what are you doing? Crack. What the fuck? Hey, at least I'm not <laughs> drinking, Brian. What's yeah, so funny? Exactly Family Guy, I love that show. Family Guy? That's not what? a good show! Come on, Dad, you have bad taste in animation. You see, even SpongeBob would handle a few scenes more maturely than uh, oh Family Guy. Oh my god, son, when will SpongeBob you shut the fuck up? Yes, SpongeBob is a good I show. I don't hear about SpongeBob. <laughs> Put on the next show. Fine. Hey, wait, that kind of stuff looks cool. My little pony, my little pony. Ah. What? Yes, Dad, this is an actual no, great no, show. No, I am not watching a pony show for but girls. It's not just a pony show for girls. No, it's no, a, turn it off, it's stop! A show about friendship. No, no. It's a very mature show. <laughs> not breathing, and they have no arms or legs. No, that's not part of it. Where are they? You know what? If we come across somebody... I don't understand no what's going legs, on on the screen. Bother. It's called The Office, one of the funniest shows of all time. But of course, you didn't give it a chance. You'd dismiss a lot of live action.